vlog. Today is my first day of third year university. We have the tubing, a 10 milliliter syringe, a feeding tube. I literally just woke up and ran out the door. I, <laughs> I'm feeling really anxious. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here, welcome back to another vlog. I'm just quickly popping on to thank the sponsor of today's video, Ana Luisa. I'm sure you guys have heard about Ana Luisa because I know I have actually for the past couple of years and I have been obsessed with their products ever since. So I'm really, really excited to be partnering with them. I am a jewelry type of person, but I like my jewelry to obviously be cute. I like it to be practical and functional and I want it to work for me regardless of what I'm doing with my day or in my life. So as nursing students we have lab and we have clinicals and you know we have busy lives I also work out regularly and I shower obviously so I don't want to be changing out my jewelry because I I'm worried about you know um, it tarnishing or it getting ruined because of my sweat or because of shower water or because of steam or whatever and this jewelry doesn't do that and I really really like that because I feel like it's kind of hard to find that especially in pieces that are more affordable so Ana Luisa actually has sustainable jewelry and it starts from as low as $39. You guys can save 10% if you use my link. I'll pop it up here on the screen as well as in the description box below. You can click that little link and use my code. But I just have these two pieces right here. So I have these earrings. I love the little stone um, as well as a necklace. So this isn't a set. You do have to get these items individually, but they just pair up perfectly. And I've received a ton of compliments. Like everybody who sees this set compliments it. Um, I definitely like the little touch of like the little stone right here i don't own anything like this already and you can definitely adjust the necklace to the length that you'd like i just like it a little bit shorter but personal preference but yeah i definitely think you guys are gonna like anna luisa's jewelry if you haven't already checked them out i highly recommend them their packaging is even sustainable nice and recyclable we love to see that and then the items also come in their very own little dust bags um and they're very good quality as well so perfect for traveling perfect for just like safekeeping your jewelry i love everything about it so yeah you guys can go use my code click the link in the description box get yourself some Ana Luisa jewelry and once again thanks to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video okay, today is my first day of third year university in the bachelor's of science and nursing program at the University of Ottawa and I have such mixed emotions by the way my skin is super dry I've thrown on pimple patches lips are dry eyes are dry also you can tell school anxiety has already hit me we got a pimple patches we got the whole thing going on i just felt like i needed to address that but anyway today is tuesday september 7th the first official day of classes isn't actually until tomorrow but today i still have to head to campus to pick up my peds lab kit which i think it'll be okay i just don't know where the room is where i have to pick the lab kit up from but i'm gonna be meeting my friend there so then hopefully we can figure it out together because two brains are always better than one and then after from 1 p.m to 3 p.m i have an orientation to year three so usually they don't do these types of orientations but because my program is collab with the college here the staff is definitely a lot more involved so they do these orientations at the beginning of the year and i honestly really appreciate them because i definitely feel like i benefit from these orientations and just knowing what's up versus just having like one or two profs tell me what's going on you know what i mean so i don't know if the main campus does like these orientations as well but i know my friend who's also in year four also has an orientation today and she's through with the college too so i don't know think that's a little bit interesting but i do kind of like it so i'm gonna be heading over to campus to get that it's currently 8 13 a.m and i should be heading out shortly now i still can't drive i don't have full functional mobility in my neck necessarily so i'm gonna be going with my brother he's gonna be taking me and then we also have a visit between 10 to 10 30 at my house and we can't be at home for it long story i'll probably tell you guys about that another day and so um all my brothers are gonna come i have three brothers we're gonna go out and they'll take me and whatnot yeah that's sort of the plan for today super duper excited we're gonna be heading out shortly my peds lab group was also posted so i'm on tuesday afternoons from 1 to 5 p.m which i really wanted that time because i wanted wednesdays off so now i have wednesdays off which is so nice because my clinicals are either going to be thursday friday or saturday and sunday so it's just going to be super nice having that little midweek break and i'm actually looking forward to it so hopefully i don't have like seminars or anything that kind of pop up um, on that day because i'll be really sad but we're gonna get ready and we're gonna head out shortly and I figured I'll bring you guys along with me Alrighty, so this is my go-to bag. I take this with me 
all the time. Um, I didn't use this as much pre-COVID times, but like now it fits my mask, hand sanitizer, and everything, so love that. So I'm just gonna be taking this bag with me. And then the other thing, so of course I have my phone. We also need to bring our IDs to be able to pick up our lab kit. So my school ID is right here. And then of course, wallet. And then of course my water bottle. So the college is implementing um, this new thing. So we already have this. It's the Algonquin mobile safety app. You Ottawa also did something like this, but they had our declaration of vaccination. But anyway, I uploaded my proof of vaccine last night and um, I got approved. So you guys can see right there. Uh, let me know if your guys' school is doing anything like this, vaccine passports or um, declaration tools or whatever. I, I think that would be interesting to know. Okay, so I've just got here. I'm gonna walk in. I'm feeling really anxious. So it's been a few hours since I last talked to the camera, but it is now 12 49 p.m And I am clearly sitting back at my computer chair at my desk My brother actually got Starbucks for everybody and just chilled for a little bit But right now I'm about to hop on to zoom because I have a orientation So it's from 1 to 3 p.m. Not too long But I'm actually interested because I really want to know like what's going on this year last year with COVID Everything was so weird and now with restrictions like basically getting looser There's more things we can do but then there's things we still can't so it's kind of like a gray area that we're all in and so i would love to just know what we're going to be doing moving forward also i just apologize for the exposure in the background i just have like white furniture and white walls and it just doesn't it doesn't work in my favor when i wear black and my um, chair is so dark so hopefully it's not that bad but picked up my lab kit which i'll show you guys we are not meant to open it i guess because they don't want us to misplace it and i don't really feel like taking everything out and putting everything back in because i feel like i will probably ruin something so i'll show you guys just through the bag what i got this is for my peas lab so i'll show you guys that and then after that i'm gonna hop on for the zoom so in terms of lab i received information that every week we're gonna be on campus for i think it's like a two or three hour lab i'm not entirely sure mine is tuesday afternoon i forget what the time is I'm really happy that's exactly what i wanted but let me show you guys what's in my lab kit this is the lab kit i received it's um a lot heavier than what i've received previously but it's kind of obvious because this has saline in here as you guys can see um, so we're doing like peds, V tubing, we have a 10 milliliter syringe, a feeding tube, just a whole bunch of things in here. Um, I don't even know what I'm looking at if I'm being honest. Trach care. So I'm actually really interested to see all of this stuff because, actually let me flip the camera. So I'm really interested to see how my previous exposures to both like feeding tubes and pushing meds through them as well as trach care will affect me. Like I'm really hoping it helps me and I'm wondering how much it helps me, you know what I mean? But yeah, you guys can see I showed you what I could. Um, I personally don't even know what's in there, so I just tried my best. But yeah, it's one or it's twelve fifty three now, so we're gonna hop onto the orientation. Welcome to our orientation for that course. So over the over the six week period. Uh, and you have met your hi guys so it's now 3 21 p.m orientation went like 20 minutes over but i don't really have a problem with that because it was actually information that's relevant to me and i don't have it like any class or really anything else today all i'm gonna do is go eat and then eventually work out and do some stuff later on but i wanted to show you guys what i have written in my planner for today and what else i do need to do today probably tonight and kind of wanted to show you guys like my planner setup so so this is what my planner looks like right now um so this is like how i set it up today so anything yellow is like admini things that are related to my personal life or school and i crossed out town hall just because I'm, I'm not going so pink is for peds over here i have ethics in green because it makes sense and then um maternity i put blue and then these are just um admini emails for youtube that i'll probably do tonight and i already did my peds outline actually for my lecture i did this 
last night i finally like figured out how to get the powerpoint in like an outline version so i've sent over my letter of accommodation and i'm just covering this again because i don't want to get in trouble but i formatted it to the way that i like as you guys can see i changed it to times new roman because it's just a lot better but i figured this would be a better idea like to um reformat it and do the whole outline thing because it'll save time but now i'm gonna go chill for a little bit and get my workout in so i'll see you guys tomorrow slept with my braids yesterday i didn't wash my hair after my workout so i don't even want to like talk about my hair other than that my skin is so dry still breaking out and i'm freezing cold if i'm being honest but it's 8 44 a.m and i have class well a seminar in about 15 minutes it's a med math seminar for my peds class we have obviously med math like a competency quiz thing that we're gonna have to pass in order to pass meds at clinical so that's kind of what we're doing right now i think it's a lot of like weight-based calculations and they said that there would be some review from last year because we also had a med math test last year but that wasn't for peds that was just for complex continuing care or long-term care depending on where people went i went to complex care i'm not looking forward to it because like i just struggle with math and math is just something that scares me like even if it's basic calculations but hopefully I can get into it and start to enjoy it. So that would be like best case scenario. So I have that from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then I have my peds theory class from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Usually my schedule would not be like this. The first week is just a little bit different in terms of the timing. Um, and that's just because like we had orientation and we also had Labor Day at the beginning of the week. So they just kind of rearranged everything for this week to make sure that we wouldn't be behind. Hopefully that makes sense. We really have to stay like on top of schedule and everything because we do have placement in labs. So we basically do need to get started as soon as possible unfortunately it's not just like a syllabus week like it was in first year you know so so i'm going to open up my computer attend my zooms and i haven't eaten breakfast yet i'm just gonna drink a ton of water and i have a protein bar over here if i do get hungry like it can hold me over and i'll get like some fruit and stuff maybe later but i'll eat like a real actual breakfast at my break which is probably gonna be like 12 to 1 so we'll see i just wanted to start off today's vlog and let's have a good day so i haven't bought like notability or good notes or anything um i just have adobe illustrator here and and I'm going to use this uh, for like the equations if we go over any during the class. So that's what I'm going to do. That's kind of my plan. I sound so sleepy right now, but that's because I am. I can't even lie. <laughs> So it's a few hours later. It's now 11.14. I didn't take that many notes, honestly. I just kind of wrote down like the key things and just a few examples here, but like I really didn't write that much. Um, my prof is going to upload practice questions, so then I'll work on that. Um, this is just, I opened my planner to see what I had today, but I'm gonna just go downstairs now, chill a little bit, go play with the cats and make like a proper breakfast. You're so cute. You're so cute and mini. Mickey Mouse gloves. Alrighty guys, my skin, don't know what's happening. So it's now 12.42, I have peds theory in about like 15 minutes, more or less. And I'm just back up in my room, brought my coffee, I'm gonna go back down for a little bit. I had my breakfast, watched some Netflix, played with the cats a little bit. It was like a good break, I definitely think. My eyes are definitely getting annoyed from like just staring at the screen like all day so far, but it's fine, I'm fine. I have pulled up the like study guide thing that I'm working on for peds, like the outline or whatever. And then I actually added in my two of my textbooks on here. Well, so this one is not like a required textbook. It's just recommended, but it's just the Henke's Med Math. And last year I really um, liked this for getting ready for my Med Math test. Like I obviously do the practice questions too that my professors upload, but this just more practice questions in it too. So I got that one. And then this is the maternal child nursing textbook all right good thank you don't know if 
I accidentally press the setting on my camera or something, but I feel like I look really washed out. We have another pimple patch here. Like this, she's, there's, ignore it but it is now 10 14 p.m and i wasn't planning on vlogging in the evening because this week in my life i'm trying to do it really like academia based based on like school and like what i'm doing to give you guys kind of an insight of what like my first week of nursing school looks like instead of incorporating like all my personal life things which is not much because this week is insane so what i'm going to do right now is i am going to review the med math lecture like the powerpoints that we had and just re-go over the questions that she showed as examples and I'm also gonna check if she uploaded the med math, med math, med math practice questions. And then I'm going to go over my peds lecture and make my quizlet. Today I received an email from my clinical instructor. I'll probably talk more about clinical when it comes cause that's like a whole other thing. But yeah, I just wanna update you guys. So I'm in my robe, I'm all comfy and I'm gonna go ahead and go over med math and then do my quizlet. So I'll probably do quizlet first cause it's the most time consuming. And then we will do med math and yeah, my arm is so tired. Because yesterday was push day, today was pull day. My arm is quite literally shaking, but I just wanted to update you guys on that. Hi everyone. Happy Thursday. I'm so tired. It's 8.53 a.m. I had literally like eight hours of sleep, but I don't know why I'm so sleepy right now. My face is so swollen, but I actually have class in six minutes. It's my ethics class. It's a lecture from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. I really wish my profs would post pre -re like recordings of the lecture instead of relying on like Zoom live because this is just really ridiculous. Like I just don't I just can't, I don't know, I just, but it's fine. So I have ethics from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then I have my maternity class from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. So I'm literally gonna go to ethics, like from my bed in my blanket. All I literally do is wake up, do my skincare and brush my teeth. And that's about it. I have some water over here and I'm just gonna stay in my bed and attend class this way because I'm so tired. Also guys, last night, I literally made 96 flashcards for my first peds class. I know. Who am I? Also, I already created my outline for ethics today and my maternity class too. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna hop on my Zoom. I literally have four minutes. Uh, I do look forward to getting back to the classroom. Hopefully. It's now like 12.55. I have my maternity class in five minutes. I finished up with my ethics class and I sat through the whole three hours from my bed. I had no intention to get out of bed and I didn't. And sometimes you just need to do that. I'm really happy with my ethics class because we don't actually have like exams, like a midterm and a final. Like we do obviously have assessments, like a midterm assessment and a final, but they're papers. And then we have like assignments and stuff throughout the semester. And I am so relieved knowing that because it kind of means that I can pretty much dedicate all my time to peds and maternity. And and really focus on those and do as well as I possibly can in those classes so that was definitely a relief but after that I went downstairs and I made my eggs because the protein bar just holds me over until I can go eat some eggs so I had my eggs then I went and grabbed some coffee with my dad so we are just having this McCafe McDonald's iced coffee today I'm literally just about to log on to maternity it is from 1 to 4 p.m. and then I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm being honest but today's a leg day so I may need to take a nap we'll see I just wanted to update you guys i'm gonna log on to maternity so i've just weeks. come into this room to set up my display right okay um, i just had one more question and the second example for the practice it's now four o'clock p.m on the dot and i just got out of my maternity class i switched rooms i came to my office space we have like a monitor set up here and basically anyone can just come in here and plug in. So that's kind of nice. Um, but it has a bigger screen and it allows me to do the extended display, which I find is really helpful, especially if the prof's on Zoom and splits a screen, like, and just I'm writing my own notes, all that. So I came in this room and it was a really nice change of scenery. I was kind of tired of sitting in my room all day. Plus I really needed this setup because my wrist was just getting really tight. But I just finished up with my first maternity lecture and it was really interesting. We went over kind of how to like calculate the GTP 
P-A-L. I think I got the hang of it, but there's still like a few things I have questions about and me and my friend were kind of texting about it, trying to figure it out. But overall, I think it was pretty interesting and I definitely learned a lot. I actually wrote a lot of notes. It's evident though that this semester especially, I'm going to have to really focus on the textbook and do all of the readings, but I'm so hungry. I'm gonna go eat and then my Shein package arrived and I'll just show you guys what I got. I'm not gonna do like a whole intricate unboxing here and all that, but I just wanna show the things I got. Okay, I got this top right here. Okay, so this is actually really oversized. I don't know who said Shein ran small because I sized up in everything and like everything's huge. I wanted uh, just this t-shirt, your classic Shein style of like this little skeleton skateboarding. I wanted a little dinky little tote bag that I could take with me for lab like this cream color and this brown now these are bigger than expected but i'm happy because i have very thick hair shein gave me this free little tote bag i got this it's uh, it looks so weird but i know you know what i'm talking about it's one of those tie front cardigans i got an apple watch band i have this one right here which just came with my watch but i wanted a white one i got these two little badges like these little pins i think they're called broche broche so i got a stethoscope this little needle it's not focusing there you go i just got an assortment of random stickers but i just thought it'd be fun to like break up the content and show you guys what i got <laughs> All right guys just coming at you with a late night update. It's now 12:58, But I had to stay up because I had to finish creating my quizlet for my class that I had today for maternity So I always make my quizlet the night or like the day of the lecture because everything's still a little fresh I'm just gonna set my alarm and then I'm going to go to bed and then tomorrow morning I have my orientation for my clinical Hey guys, when I tell you I just woke up and ran out the door, I literally just woke up and ran out the door. So we love that. Hi everybody, happy Saturday. I personally feel like this video has been all over the place and it's a bit of a mess and I really want this video to still be cohesive and enjoyable. So I guess I will try to work with me being the world's worst vlogger for this week's video. But anyway, I wanted to sit and talk and kind of also close off the vlog at the same time. So yesterday I had my orientation for clinical and then after that I went out and I didn't really vlog at all. After that, I mean I tried to vlog and I wanted to vlog when I came back home but I was so tired. All I did when I came back home around 10-ish was my modules for my maternity class. We had three different like modules we had to do. One was for breastfeeding like kind of patient education breastfeeding module type of thing. Did one for fetal alcohol um, syn stress disorder. Is that what it stands for? FASD and then we had one for gender based violence. So those are the three that I did so you have to submit those if you want to pass the course. You can't just omit them. You have have to like actually submit them and the due dates are not until later on actually They're, the first one isn't due until the 20th of September and then the rest are due in October and November but I just wanted to get them out of the way while I could so I did that and that was about it I also printed out some paperwork for my placement so I'm at the children's hospital so I printed out a confidentiality agreement and I'm not on site until the 26th 26, but I just wanted to have that printed out and ready to go because I'm I have a really busy next couple weeks And then I printed out a bunch of med math practice So that's what I printed out yesterday, but I haven't gotten around to it yet So my goal for today is to do my med math practice probably do my peds and my maternity quizlets I don't know. That's kind of like what I have for the agenda today I honestly did a, my workout today at like a really weird time around three and then after that I had like no idea what to do I had like no energy, but I was also getting anxious because I knew I had a lot of stuff to do so now I'm finally getting around to it at 8 20 p.m. But like that's fine better late than never so I wanted to show you guys all of the med math that I printed out So these were posted by my professor focusing Okay, there you go. So <clears throat> I actually have a ton of pages here 
so many and these are all actually double-sided so the answers are not posted yet but it's fine i'll still work through them and then i was watching registered nurse rn's video on like calculations and stuff and i'm gonna uh pull up i have a textbook i forgot which one it is but i had it last year too it has calculations in it i'm gonna pull that up because it actually has the formulas and stuff and we weren't necessarily provided with the formulas for this but just kind of the steps on how to do it so i want a formula we had our little med math seminar but like it was more just the prof going through practice questions with us and I feel like I didn't really take away from it so that's kind of why I'm going out of my way right now to like get my own resources and study through textbooks and videos and stuff so that's kind of what I'm going to be doing today but yeah that's basically it it's going to just be pretty productive and chill yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you did enjoy that's all for me and I'll see you guys in the next one